Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Ye saying that he was basically drinking while he made the so-called anti-Semitic rant, rant. Let's get into it, guys. Because as you guys remember, back in 2022, Ye made a series of tweets that got Harry Emanuel to write to all major media outlets, telling them to call on all businesses to cut tight ties with Ye. And when Ari Emanuel, you know, he's a prominent leader in the Jewish community, when he did that, you know the saying um that they basically control a lot of things. They're pretty much in influential and they call a lot of shots. And because he basically said that, you know, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going death con three on a Jewish people. And he said, the funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people actually, black, black people are actually Jews. Also, you guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. So that's what he posted back in 2022. And then after that post, Ari Emanuel was like, Adidas, y'all need to cut him. Everyone need to cut him. But you see, the thing is, you see when Ari Emanuel's friends are anti-Semitic, he's tight-lipped. He doesn't say anything, okay? Even when he was called upon to say something about his friends, he's tight-lipped, okay? And he's also allegedly racist. It is said that there was once he made a statement saying that black people can't swim. He was being abusive to black people um, in his company allegedly and he was sued which he settled out of court but when it came to Ye, he was fired up he was powered up because you know naturally if you're a jewish um if you're jewish and someone says that naturally you're going to be taken a bit by that a bit back by that you're going to question it but ari emmanuel did not call for a discussion he called for you to be cancelled because he wanted to exercise his power over Ye. right now what Ye is saying in a podcast interview that he had with Candace Owens, this interview was done over a year ago, but Candace did not believe that, you know, after it was done, based on everything that was going on, it was the right time to, you know, reveal the interview. So she did it yesterday, or if not a couple hours ago. In that interview, Ye said to Candace Owens, he, he said, you know what I was drinking? At that time when I made that tweet, I was drinking Hennessy. <laughs> That's what he said. Now, also, if you guys remember, Ye basically told us that he was going through a lot. And I don't think that he needed to tell us he was going through a lot. It was evident that he was going through a lot. And I believe that Kim Kardashian actually literally set the tone for Ye's downfall. And many people may say, stop blaming Kim for everything. I'm going to call a spade a spade and I'm going to call a shovel a shovel. She set the tone for this man's downfall. But we also have to um, blame Ye in a sense. We have to blame Ari Emanuel. I think that what Kim did, because in case you guys don't understand what Kim did, when Kim weaponized the kids against Ye, she basically set the tone because she knew that Ye was pretty much unstable at that point. And because she wanted to get full custody of her kids, she wanted to have the father of her kids out of their lives because that is the only reason why she would do something like that. If not that, she would basically want this man to off himself. So it has to be one of two, if not a combination of both. She had North and Pete's laugh and all of that and he was going off, you know. So you know that he was unstable somewhat and that basically pushed him over the ledge. And then the divorce came after she basically took everything from that divorce so we can only imagine what ye has been through even if you've been through a divorce i don't think you understand why ye has i don't think you know sorry i think you can understand but not know to the full extent what he has been through because did not just that he lost his marriage he lost his family he lost his business it was like a domino effect one after the other he kept on losing a lot of things so because of that, I believe that Ye was in his feelings because he also had been having previous issues, similar to some of the issues that Michael Jackson had spoken about, about specific members of the Jewish community. Ye was having problems with specific members of the Jewish community, and he didn't talk about the problem that he was having with those specific members. He spoke in general, and many people are saying that, you know, because he spoke in general, that's what led to his downfall. But I mean... Who knows? I believe that 
Once you say certain things, you'll be canceled. You'll be stopped. They're going to do everything that they can. But here's you telling us it was actually the alcohol that he was drinking that basically led him to that statement. Candace Owens then asked Ye, why is it that he did not come out and make it clear that he was drunk at the time he made such a post? Ye's response was that even though what he did was unpleasant, he wanted to basically take accountability for it. He didn't want to blame it on the alcohol or anything like that. No, following Candace Owens and Ye, following, sorry, Candace Owens um, posting that interview, many people have been going through it with a fine tooth comb and many people have been saying his actions are inexcusable. What he did was just so out wrong. But here's what I'm going to say. Words are very harmful. Yes, I totally agree. But you know what is even more dangerous? Taking the innocent lives of women and kids, declaring a genocide on a group of people to take away what doesn't belong to another group of people. That is what is unforgivable. Someone making a mistake, so, or even let's say he meant it. Let's say he meant what he did initially. Once he's remorseful and genuinely unapologetic, for his actions, I believe that he should be given grace. We are all human beings. We make mistakes. But the most important thing is that no life has been lost. Yes, people are hurt. That's true because, I mean, the Jewish community people, they do have feelings. But at the same time, what I don't appreciate about the Jewish community is that they demand something that they don't. Well, let me not say Jewish community because I've been clarified on, on that. There's a difference. So there's a group of people that really demand respect from people, but they do not, in return, give respect. For example, again, the genocide that is going on, you have to give and take with people. Genocides are never okay. And it's not fair of the media outlet to consistently focus on Ye's action, what Ye said, but at the same time, not focusing on what the very same people are doing to you. And that's all I have to say about that for this video. Let me know your thoughts while you're at it. Thumbs up, share. See you guys later. Bye, guys.